isn't what it looks like uh, if you come to Pandora. This is part of the office. We have about 35 musicians that work for us. And their job is to come in every day, slap on a pair of headphones, and listen to songs. And they analyze these songs musicologically, one song at a time, along 400 musical attributes per song. So they go in and they detail, they score every little musical element, the voice, all the, the sort of different parts of the vocal sound, every instrument, what every instrument is doing, every rhythmic component. It's kind of like musical DNA. It's trying to sort of understand the basic essence of the song. This actually is literally what they look at. This is one kind of off the screen here, but it's one of seven pages of musical detail that they actually score. So these are musicians with a the training. They've all studied music in college or someplace. Um, so they have a good grounding in music theory. And they'll go through and actually type in numbers one by one to each one of these boxes while they listen to the song. So writing down all of its musical components. So this, this section right here is all about the rhythm. So just the rhythm and rhythmic elements of a song. So the tempo, cut time, which is a, a, a particular kind of, uh, of, of, of rhythmic interpretation. Is it in triple meter, compound duple meter? These are all kind of musicological terms. And put together, all these individual attributes give you a sense of what the rhythm is. No matter what it is, if it's kind of some hard swing and jazz tune, a trip hop track, a classical piece, uh, any piece of music, whatever the rhythm is, we can understand it through some combination of these attributes. It's kind of like music uh, primary colors. It's red, I always forget what they are, they're red, red, yellow, and blue. So you can make any color through some combination of red, yellow, and blue. Um, but you can, you, you can combine those colors to make anything. We kind of do the same thing what we do with musicology.